All right, welcome Wild Impact to your Thursday night team call. It is the 23rd. Uh, a bunch of us are fresh back from Cancun, and so we are a little hyped up, especially since Tammy and I just did the sneak peek of Sean T's summer release of Size. And I gotta be honest, I am not a dancer. But Tammy, I was smiling the whole time. Oh yeah, I, me too. I was like, <laughs> oh, you know what? I almost think I have to do it with someone because I'm like, if I was by myself, would I really want to like give it my, like right. it's fun with a friend. I, I saw that video and I'm like, Shane, I think you're, you should have been a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first view, I think. I saw it. I was like, in woohoo. Yeah. Well, maybe there'll be a test group. I'm joining. <laughs> there was, yeah. there was yeah. on Monday. I could have gone. So oh, I saw so that in New York. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah. never. You need to have a little dancing background. I'm sorry. If for them to pick you, I think you need to have like a little bit of something. But anyway, so we're gonna get started, guys. And now, uh, there's, uh, hey girls, there's 57 other people on the call. Could we stop? <laughs> All right, so guys, we have rank advancements for the last two weeks. So I'm gonna run through them. So please, everybody, give a little virtual thumbs up or high five or chat in the in the little chat session. Stacy Plant, Emerald Coach, this uh, in the last two weeks. Nadine. Krokolak, Stacy Hauser Massler. These guys all hit Emerald in the last two weeks. Valerie Plant, Emerald, Molly Beer, Emerald, and Christine Ziniak reclaimed her Emerald. I'm really proud of you guys. And we have a huge rank advancement. Kim Phillips hit Diamond. Yay! Awesome job, Kim. Long time coming. She worked her butt off. So really proud of you guys. Um, okay couple really quick uh, things and then we're going to get started. The sneak peek is over. I hope you followed up and followed up and followed up with all of your prospects. There is a webinar next Thursday night. So no team call. It is a team webinar. Guys, we do these for you, for you to grow your business. So invite to the webinar. Make a pretty graphic. Sometimes you'll see that we'll post a graphic that we make. Get the word out, private message people who have been on them in the past, get people on the 9 p.m. webinar to hear about this amazing opportunity. Last call for sneak peek. If you are an Emerald coach, you have until this next week. I'm gonna be a little loose on this because um, I can't, I'm leading it. So if I have to sneak you in, I will. Um, 10 weeks, 10 trainers, two brand new trainers, new content. If you are not in it, you need to get in it. Even if some of it is a review, guys, think about it. How about accountability for 10 weeks? When you're in a little bit of a slump and you know that you have this group that keeps reminding you to you know, do your daily disciplines, there's gonna be some guest speakers, live calls, you need to be in this group. If you are an Emerald Coach and you are looking to build a business, it is non-negotiable. Okay, um, so with that being said, I asked two of the leaders on our team. I get lots of guest speakers from all over the network, but we have two amazing leaders right here on Wild Impact. And so I wanted to have Tammy and Kelly share a little bit first about them, because as much as they've been around the block is basically as long as me, there's a lot of new coaches. And, you know, I'm a, sometimes I wonder how much you guys know all of the leaders on our team. And do you know their story? And do you know kind of where they came from? So I wanted them to share a little bit about that, but also talk a, about events, their experience in Cancun, and kind of how that came to be and what impact it's made. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to Kelly. Kelly, please, you know, please, I want you to share your rank, share when you started. Um, this is about, you know, we should be proud, guys. If you have, if you are a star diamond, be proud. So um, definitely share your accomplishments, Kelly, um, and then your experience with kind of what we just, um, uh, the week we spent together in Cancun. All right, so I'm sweating a little bit, and... Uh... <laughs> So I'm going to be real here because it's just wild impact and I was so honored to be asked to be on this call. So I'm going to be me and I'm going to like tell you like it is because that's who I am and that's what I do. Um, I do TMI too much. So I'm going to do that tonight. So 
basically, I'm going to tell you like it is. I've been a coach for two years. March 1st was two years. I met Sheen from an abdominal challenge. Um, I joined her free abdominal challenge. She reached out to me and asked me if I needed help with my health, my health and fitness. And I was like, who is this chick? And she was like, you know, you know, have you heard of Insanity and P90X? And I was like, yeah, I do Insanity. I do it like three days a week. And I go to the gym three days a week. So I was like the fitness nut. So she was like, you should be a coach. And I was like, coach, what is that? So I had no idea about this opportunity. I knew no one on the team. Um, it's crazy. Me and Shane had mutual friends. Um, I won't get into that, but it's because Lorene joined Karen's abdominal challenge that she joined from Shane. Long story. But the point is, is that's why you make your group public. Do free events. Because Shane found me. I live in PA. I knew no one. I knew none of this. So uh, Shane basically friended me and we formed a relationship and inspired me. And I watched her for four months. And finally, I was like, okay, I'm going to try the Shakeology stuff that Shane <laughs> talked about. I'm being real. I'm going to be totally real tonight. So I tried it. And literally, I remember Julia was napping next to me. And I was like, I would normally want to like fall asleep. And I literally sent Shane a text. And I was like, I feel like energized. Like, like what's with the Shakeology stuff? And Shane responded to me, Shakeology is amazing, period. And honestly, like after three weeks, I was like, I got to do this coach discount crap. <laughs> and I literally was like, okay, I'm going to sign up for the coach discount discount. So I signed up, but she knew that I really wanted more. So I basically signed up and Shane knew I was all in and Shane helped me with that. So, um, I basically, she was like an Emerald group started and my, that was my first goal. I got Emerald. And once I got Emerald, I was like, okay, I'm not losing Emerald. So I'm going to get three coaches on each leg. So I'm a stable Emerald. And then I was like, oh, well, maybe I could do Diamond. And it just grew. So I want to share with you guys, like, I want you all to know when I started, I started as a discount. I wanted a little bit of extra money. That was my first goal. My first goal was Emerald and a little extra money. But it grew and it compounded. And I want to share with you guys this is not my topic, but I do want to share with you guys. I want you all to know that I did not have a goal of five star diamond and I am like seeing it now and it's soon. And two years was my anniversary, March 1st. And I will tell you at one year, I was like, that is so far away. There's no way I can do that. And I didn't believe in myself. And that's why after I went to summit and I'm going to talk about events because events are so, so important. When I went to Summit, everything changed. And I know everyone is going to tell you that. And everyone told me that. And my first year, I was only a coach for about three months. And I felt like it was a lot of money to put out for an event. And I was like, I can't do it. And I so regret that. Because I will tell you, if I went to that first Summit, I would have built way faster. And Shane's probably like, I told you. And I know it. But it, it's okay. And my second year, everything changed and events change things and some it changes things, but super Saturdays can change things as well. Um, and success club trips I learned now also change things. So, um, just know that I felt probably the same way as many of you on this call felt. So make small goals. Make your first goal, your number one goal, is to hit Emerald. You have to, that has to be your first goal if you want success in this business. Once you hit Emerald, then you can see, you know what? I can get another Emerald. And once you get that second Emerald underneath you, you're like, oh, well, I only need one more Emerald. And then I can just share, share the discount. And then that's how it grows. And that's what I did. And that's what you all can do. And it all comes down to believing that you can do this because when I started, I had the thinnest skin probably of anyone on this team. And now I joke around and I say my skin was like super thin and now it's like leather because from personal development, you will grow. 
So that's going to be a little bit of my topic as well tonight, but I'm going to get into Success Club Trip and share my story a little bit. So I've been a coach for two years. My first year, I did not go or sign up to the Success Club Trip. I also did not go to Summit. Huge regret, like I just said. So I went to Summit, and that was last June, and so much changed. My income, like, totally took off. Um, so, and then... Basically, like, I, I honestly, I'm gonna, not going to lie, I didn't really understand Success Club Trip. Like, I didn't, really did not realize, like, that this is paid for. You hit Success Club every month. So I literally got an email, and I saw that I had, like, 159 Success Club points for the year of 2014. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm a crapshoot idiot for not signing up for that. So I'm going to sign up. So I signed up. Never heard anything. So literally, it was um, four weeks ago, um, I hit uh, two star. I was two star, and I that Thursday morning, four weeks ago, I hit two star, and I was out running errands, whatever, and um, did my power hour in the morning, was out running errands, and then Thursday afternoon, I came home. I'm like, okay, I do like kind of like another power hour on Thursday mornings, like Thir or Thursday afternoons. Thursdays is like really my really focused work day. Um, so I, I put in basically eight hours, eight hours on Thursdays. So Thursday afternoon at 1230, I literally checked my email and I was like, oh my God, I got an email that said a spot opened and you're, you have a spot to go to King and Success Club Trip. And I was like, I, I didn't even understand what I was reading because I was like, oh my God. So I literally like read the email and I was like shaking and I went upstairs and right away I was like, okay, I know where my passport is. Like I got to find my passport because if this trip is in four weeks, like I need a passport now because it takes six weeks. Like I know all about passports because me and my husband travel like crazy before kids. So I went upstairs. My passport was good till 2019. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I can really go to Cancun. So I quickly texted my husband. He called me back. And obviously, like, my energy, like, I get very, like, ah. so he called me, and he was, like, talking about the pledge, and he's, like, okay, then go. Like, he's, like, the most calm, like, we're so opposite. And I was, like, but you're going with me. And he's, like, uh, no. So then I got pissed off, and I was, like, well, why wouldn't you go with me? So then after much talking, he's, like, he basically said to me, he's, like, Kelly, you've been doing this for two years, and you have worked your ass off, excuse my language, and he was like, you need to go, and I'll stay with the kids, and I know many of you can relate to this on the call, because in the beginning, your husbands are like, what are you doing, you're spending so much time, da 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 da, -da. so for him to say that to me, I was like, I, I gotta do this, <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, I'm going to Cancun, like, without my husband and without my kids. I need a prescription for something to help me relax. <laughs> so, anyway. Oh, you had no problem relaxing once we get <laughs> So, to make a long story short, I made it happen. My um, husband stayed home with the kids, and um, my, hus my, my mom, like, watched the kids the one day. We made it happen. It was a lot of juggling, finagling, and I went, and it was actually the first time since having kids that I was actually able to relax without – being with my kids. I've gone away without my kids, but this was my first trip that I like, I was all in, like just relaxed, focused. It was amazing. Um, so point of the story is I made it happen. I went and the best part of it was, was I was expecting this trip to just kind of be like a relaxing vacation. But what I didn't expect from it was I got so much from Summit and I tell everyone to go to Summit. But now after this trip, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like, everyone needs to go to success club trips because you get to relax, you get to meet more coaches that are doing exactly what you're doing, that have the same struggles as you. Everyone in this business is so real. And since I started, I've listened to the national wake up call every single week. And every week I'm like, oh my gosh, if they did that, I, I can do this. Um, so being away and being relaxed on a trip and getting to like brainstorm with like coaches, first of all, founding coaches that like are diamond coaches making a crap load of money just because 
they've fouled the system and are just kind of like consistent doing a little bit, but then meeting like rock star coaches like Christina Delgado, who was a lawyer, like hanging out with her. She picked me up the one day I was walking back from the workout. Any other trip I was walking alone, she pulled up next to me in her golf cart. Any other person, I would have been like, oh, no, I'm enjoying walking alone. And she pulled up next to me, and she was like, hey, do you want to ride? And I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> and then, like, another night, like, we just, you know, hung out at, like, the lobby bar, and I got to just kind of, like, chat with her. So this trip is, like, Success Club trip is so laid back, and you meet, like, so many people that are in the same boat. So you you need to know that – Anyone can do this. You have to believe in it. You have to follow a system. But getting to these events, there's a, not, a lot of negative Nellies in our lives to be doing. And being a coach, there's going to be people that put you down. So getting to these events and hanging out with all these like-minded, positive people is just, it's just unbelievable. And, and Kelly, not to I'm, interrupt, but I think it's, you know, important to, to really stress that I had a year to plan for this trip. You found out four weeks ago, and your first thought was, where's my passport? You had to arrange it with your husband. You had to get your mom. You had to pay for airfare. That wasn't just money growing on the trees. You know, you had to make sacrifices to make it happen. You know, it, that's, that's the message, that there's things sometimes we have to do in this business that may be a little bit of a hardship, but the end result is going to be so worth it because what it's going to do for your business and where you're going to be six months from now, where you would have been had you not taken that leap. So I think that's pretty incredible. I was so proud of you. I mean, a year ago you would have said, well, I, I, yeah, I got the email or you wouldn't have even told anyone. Yeah, I got the email. Um, and you just owned it and you just did it. And it just shows how far you've come in, in two years, because that's not the Kelly that said, I might want a little discount. Um, I, I know I'm going to keep this short cause I know I ramble on, but like, that was like another thing. Yeah, like, I want to oh, talk too. Come on now. What's that? I know. So <laughs> the other thing too is like my boss, like I was so afraid to ask her. And when I asked her, she was like, did you win this for Beachbody? And I was like, yeah. And her response was like, you deserve to go. So I had my husband telling wow. me and my boss, I was like, yeah. everything's lying. Like I need to go. So I'm going to, um, end it and let Tammy talk. Cause I don't shut. Um, <laughs> I took a couple yeah, I notes that I, I, I need to like just share with you. Um, so I want you all to take this, this takeaway because I wrote it down because I was afraid I was going to be all over the place. Um, remember, all successful coaches are successful because they kept pushing and we followed vital behaviors and we made sure we went to events. Listening to other successful people helps you grow. Um, and you need to surround yourself with positivity and that's what all these events do. And the other thing is, is keep doing personal development. That's going to help you grow. So like example for me, I was someone who doesn't believe in myself and I've come a very long way. So I need to work on leadership skills and I also need to just work on believing in myself. So right now in my car, I'm listening to how successful people grow by John Maxwell. Um, and basically he talks about how you need to constantly grow, make yourself a better person. Um, and so I want to bring up to you, like if what you're doing now doesn't work, try something else and just keep changing it. And that's what these success club trips are awesome about because if you surround yourself with other people with like great ideas and great feedback, you're going to constantly get new ideas of what they do that might work better for you. You're upline what they're doing. Don't try to be their style. Do your own style. Like be your own person. But when you meet all these other coaches in the network, that's that's how you can try and find your own style. And it helps. Love it. Awesome. Thank all you, right. Cal. Term. Sorry. Thank you, Cal. All right, Tammy, you just jump Ooh. right in, girl. All right. All right. So everybody, I'm Tamara or Tammy uh, Egan, and I am currently a two-star 
uh, four-star qualifying coach. And I have uh, started as a discount buyer in August of 2012. Shane and I know each other for the last oh, 10, 12 years um, and worked together every day and sat on our chairs, bumped up against each other. And she was the gym rat who would go after work for an hour and a half to the gym. And I was the 212-pound mom who was really out of shape and wasn't ready to do something about it. And she, I remember her coming back and saying, oh, I met this guy, his name was Lou at the gym and he's got these really expensive shakes. I don't, I don't really know if this is something I want to do. And I was like, yeah, you got to do this. This is like right up your alley. So I said, Shane, yeah, you be a beach riding coach. I don't know what that means, but that's cool. So about five months later, um, I was, she kept inviting me, kept inviting me. I was like, nope, not ready. I'm not ready. I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I'm going to uh, figure this out. And on August 1st, I signed up because I like things at a discount. So right away, I knew it was going to take me at least six months to get the weight off that I was looking to take off. And I knew I was going to drink Shakeology for that amount of time. And so I just committed at that point. So I didn't start working the business until March of 2013. Um, and that's a story in and of itself, but, um, you were actually started, working another business. Yes. I was working another business, another, um, direct sales company. And I had a lunch and Greg Plaskett looked across the table at me and said, so how much money would it take for you to work beach body and not that other job? And I said, I don't know, like 500. And I think Shane's jaw like dropped to the table because in a year she was already doing that a week. And we were too close of friends and she couldn't, she couldn't talk to me about that. But I was like drowning myself doing this other stuff, going to people's houses, delivering crap, running all over town. And I would have taken just my car payment and been cool to leave that um, because I was busting my rump for about 1200 was the best I was doing in that business. So uh, I was like, why, what are you making? <laughs> and uh, that's when I was like, oh yeah, no, this is ridiculous. There's no difference between Shane than there is me. Um, and so I just, and at that point people were asking me what I was doing because I was dropping the weight. I was a product of the product. So that's when I started working the business and in June, well, it was around about that time. So I signed up in August, right? And everybody is qualifying throughout that year for the trip. And so the trip was, I think in February or March that year and they went to Disney and I didn't really understand like what they were even doing. I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, and then that next January, um, I did sign up for the Success Club trip, which was the cruise. And um, actually, I'm sorry, I didn't sign up. I was on the waiting list. Um, so I was put on the waiting list. So I did sign up at some point when I realized what this all was even about, um, probably about April or May even. Um, and so I signed up. And Shane saw I was like actually trying. And back then we didn't have Coach Basics or Emerald to Diamond or any of that stuff. Um, so I was just like doing what I could do and figuring out how to add this and stumbling and making lots of mistakes and vomiting beach body all over people and not knowing how to invite and not inviting and not posting and you know all the things that you guys are doing, right? We've do, we've done all of that. Success, you've ever seen that image, right? Success isn't this, it's like um, and that was totally me. I was a hot mess. And so I, Shane said, I want to say it was probably April. You turned to me and was like, so you want to go to Summit with me? I was like, what the hell is Summit? Like, I it still was like, I don't even know what's going on. National wake up call, this call, that call, which calls am I supposed to be on? Um, and I was like, yeah, sure. Cool. And I, I didn't even know what I was saying yes to, but I just knew like there was, I had, we had to get to this. I had to get to this. This is going to be awesome. It was in Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. And she's like, I already got the hotel room. So just come, just get your flight and let's go. All right, cool. So I do that and I get to this event where then there was probably, I think, correct me if I'm wrong. I want to say there was maybe 5,000, 6,000 coaches that year um, because this past year there was nine, right? So I want to say there's maybe five, five or six, 5,500, something like that. And that was unbelievable. There were these people, I had no idea who I was watching by the way too, because at that point I had no idea. I wasn't following coaches or any of that. I didn't really even understand who these people were. Um, but the, just the energy of being with other people and doing a super workout with the trainers live and 
so my first summit experience like my head just like popped off my shoulders like just watching the actual challenge winners win that hundred thousand dollars um t listening to carl speak live you guys cried every day oh my god you're just like you just cry i'm just i'm like need, you need waterproof mascara by the way if you're going to summit you need waterproof mascara any event like that um and so i even coming home from summit I was like on such a high and my business was doing so well, but what wound up happening was um, I got the notice that I, sh I got on the ship and it was like Kelly's. It was like four weeks before and I really wanted to go, um, but I didn't. And it was the worst thing I ever did because I sat home and I'm watching Shane posting and Greg's posting and Lou's posting and Maris is posting and all these other coaches I'm friends with are on this boat and I'm stuck in Connecticut and it's cold and that stinks like and at, it was at that point that I said never ever again will there be a trip that I can qualify for or attend or event that I won't get there because I agree with Kelly uh, super Saturdays are mini summits uh, so the energy is awesome and the event is is amazing for people to be at it's the fourth vital behavior without a doubt but these events being around people hanging out in the pool with Brad Bizak and Colleen Eddy and Troy Bayar and, you know, like just chilling with them at the pool, you know, Hector Lopez, who is in, you know, Insanity Max 30, like every, every coach that you think of or follow or look at is there and you are surrounded yourself with people who are making fifty thousand dollars or more with beach body generally because at that point you're looking at leadership and so you're hanging with people who are making this a business and you get a chance to network when i hear people say oh gosh oh i don't have to go to the diamond meeting because and i can stay up i can sleep later at home or i can do something else Shane and I like we want like our skin wants to crawl because you need to get there early to network with people outside go talk to people I've purposely gone up and introduced myself to leaders who are making a million dollars Becky Brissett Christina's sister did everybody see that today she's yeah. our newest millionaire um, and she did that in four and a half years you guys four and a half years but it was hard and she worked her ass off. She didn't come home from work and spend five hours watching television. She didn't sit around and um, make excuses for why, her, why she didn't invite somebody that day. She won the day. She went to work at her job as a Beachbody coach and made it happen. And so if that is your goal, whatever your goal is with this, these events help generate do you know how much interest i have people reaching i don't have to this week i am inviting but i don't have to i've got people like coming out of the woodwork they're like how is cancun and that was so awesome and what the hell are you doing like there's you know i mean so you i just signed another coach today so this business is real and it's as real as you want it to be um and it's not always easy and I've got the same excuses you guys have. Um, and when I put down my excuses and I got to work with what this business actually is, is when I start, if you're not seeing results, just say to yourself, what differently can I do? Not about everybody else. What more can I do? How do I fix this? Who do I need to reach out to and work with? And, it, you know, if you've done a diamond dash, do 10 diamond dashes. I, quite frankly, if you're a diamond already and you've not done this diamond dash, do this diamond dash. You know, I'll be in it. I'm following along. I'm making that commitment myself. And I'm a four-star qualifying coach. There is always something to learn in this business. You will never not, you will never know it all. Um, that's just the way this goes. And it's, that's the beauty of this. I love that part of this job that I will never know everything. Cause then there's another program that comes out like size, which is going to be amazing. You guys should be blowing that up. Um, and getting to a super Saturday. If you're, and if you're in driving distance to Connecticut, we are doing size. You have to be there. Like it's uh, that taking video like that and promoting that on your page and an event like super Saturday, 
that alone generates interest. People are like, wow, look at all those fun people. These people are all fun and having a great time together. Who gets that? There's a lot of moms and dads who are isolated. They don't have any friends. They've relocated. They've got, you know, two friends. Uh, we, I've got people all over the damn country that I could call and go stay with, like legit. So, you know, I want you guys to know that the friendship and the business is as awesome as you could possibly think it could get. Uh, it's just whether you get there. You know, I, I, I totally know that if I needed something, I could call a lot of these coaches and they would be right there for me. It's not BS when people are reaching out and supporting each other on Facebook. They do it in real life too. And that's where you build these relationships is at events because there's only so much we can do through the computer, right? So if anybody comes to Super Saturday on Saturday in Connecticut and I don't recognize you because you've always been a little box, please come up and introduce yourself to me and, you know, know that it's not because I don't want to talk to you that I'm walking by you. I just, I, there's so many people now at this point on my team because Kelly and I are Shane's first two diamonds. So, and then she had eight after us. So um, we're building teams too. And that's why I think, you know, a lot of times you guys don't know us because we might not be as prevalent in Shane's team page because we're running our own team pages. So uh, I just want you guys to know that whatever you want to do with this, you can do, uh, but you have to make the commitment and stop making excuses and figure out just one thing you can do today this week that you weren't doing last week you know each week as you pull out that bat and you look at your last week's bat if you didn't look at it because it's empty or you didn't do it okay well then this week just pull it out just try just try and don't be like same thing as you with your fitness don't just give up don't stop drinking shakeology or stop exercising because you screwed up a day you know, you get back at it. This business is the same thing. It's what could you do differently today that you didn't do yesterday to move yourself forward? That's it. Don't, don't beat yourself up. Don't just cause you're behind in coach basics doesn't mean you don't try to go back and, and look at a few things and like it, comment on it. If you read it, you know, these are things that, you know, you can be doing to move your business forward and your leaders appreciate that. Because we're spending a quarter of our time working this business to train you guys. That's a quarter of my energy into my business I spend in working with my farmers. I have to split my time between those two groups. And then my other half of the time is my own recruiting, my own sales for, for challenge packs. I'm at SC8. I intend to be 10 by the end. Actually, no, I think I'm 10 today. Um, so... I set the goal, two to three coaches every single month, SC10, non-negotiable. These things are, I can make excuses, guys. I'm, an, I'm a success club legend for a reason. And my whole other story, I could give you every excuse as to why I shouldn't be there. But this business is about people who don't make those excuses and who keep doing what they can do. I wasn't perfect all the time either. And yet I'm still four-star qualifying. So it's how do you do something better today, better tomorrow. When you go, when tonight, when you go to bed tonight, think about what did I not do today that I can do tomorrow that I know I can do. Was it your fitness? If you're not doing a fitness program, you're not working a job. So just stop it. You need to be doing some kind of exercise with our stuff. Right now I'm just bouncing around doing a bunch of beach body on demand stuff and promoting that, right? I'm not working an actual program because I'm in between. I'm going to do autumn's. Um, Memorial Day Challenge that starts on the 1st. So I'm in between stuff. So figure out how you can make that work for you. But I'm still exercising. I just did two today. <laughs> I did size tonight and P90X3 this morning. So enjoy enjoy that part. Drink your Shakeology every day. There's no excuse. Those two things have to be done. And if you guys aren't doing those two things, then start with that tomorrow. Start with your shake. Start with your exercise. That's where you got to start. Then you add. You do your inviting. You invite two people every day, guys. You heard Shane just cold invited this chick on her like page. Hey, so you need any help with your health and fitness? Kelly Kelly's like, what? What are you talking about? Um, right? She just cold invited her. She didn't form her. She yeah. didn't. No, nope, she was just like, what up? <laughs> how's, it, how's it going? And you know what? You have to figure that out too. I tell to all my coaches that form some. I hate, to, I hate to call you on team, but you just like, bam. I was like, who? I literally said to somebody at work that joined the abdominal challenge. I was like, 
did this chick shame like add you as a friend? Cause she like added me as a friend. She's trying to- I didn't know what I was doing back then. No, it's awesome. You're just like basic. No one's talking. Come on, guys. No, honestly, sometimes I think cold invites actually are the way to go because it kind of sometimes it like actually sparks interest. It works. I don't know. Me, I'm not nuts. Tammy's nuts. If you can trust me, call that. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of just hearing from the trenches from the coaches who are still in the trenches. You know, we, we are not in the millionaires club yet. We are not making a half a million dollars yet. Um, we're all still working and growing. Um, I still work this business a lot. Um, I'm not there yet. I'll get there and we all will if we do these things every day, but I'm not at a place yet where I can kind of say, I'm just gonna collect. I'm not there. I may never be because that's not really in my nature. But guys, what we're trying to show you is that, you know, many will look at us and say, well, they're very successful. And yet not a day goes by that I don't show up. Not a day goes by that these two leaders don't show up for work. You would get fired at your job if you didn't show up. Have the same mentality. Except your actually- job is going to pay you and triple your income in one year. I actually wanted to touch on that real quick, just on this call tonight, Shane. I know, like, we're running out of time, so, but, um. Well, if you, you know, there's still 62 people on the call, so. <laughs> so, I guess, most of you think. I, I actually want to do this call every single week, because I had so much fun. I got over my fear now, but, um. So, what's that? I said you were scared. You just killed it. I was so scared. Um, I'm scared to see the recording. But I actually want to bring up, Shane, I actually shared with my t- my downline um, how, like, in Cancun, we, um, and I shared with my downline how that's not working now. Like, I came back, and I was like, I had so much to get caught up on because I was not inviting. I was not forming. And I wasn't really plugged in. I was sharing. I was still being present on Facebook, so I didn't disappear. And others still saw me. And just like Tammy said, like, go into these events. People are watching you. People that have never liked any one of your posts. I had four messages while I was away that people wanted to follow up calls with me, basically, because they were like, I need to talk to you. Like, I see your success, da 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 But point is, is, my team looked at it probably as I was working the business. So I want to remind them, I may have been present, but I was not working. And on Monday, I had a ton to get caught up on because I did not have that momentum. I was not doing my personal development. I was not engaged like I normally am. And I was not forming and I was not inviting. So I actually, on Monday, I had a lot to get caught up on. And I think every one of us felt that way. But I want to remind everyone that just because you're posting on Facebook and you're checking in with your challenge groups, that is not really working your business. You really need to do your personal development daily. And you have to invite, add friends, and talk to new people every single day. That's working your business. Just because you're posting and commenting and liking and all that other fun stuff. We did fun stuff, right, Tam, in in Cancun? Right. But we weren't working. No. So we had to get caught up. So it was actually like a refresher for me because I was like, okay, that's not work. And that's a part of the business that's just like fun time. But be focused. Be productive and not just busy. Be productive with your time and invite and and do the daily things and have fun with it, but be productive. If you just have fun and you're just socializing with this business, you're not going to get far and you're going to feel that you're just busy and not productive. You're going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm spending so much time. But you're spending so much time, but you're not really working. You're just kind of talking to people. So if you guys are not sending your back to your upline, I'm going to highly recommend some professional recommendation from me that everyone does that. I get a slew of them on Thursdays and I love them. I get flooded, um, but I don't get them from everybody. I'm open to uh, receiving bats and going over them with anybody on the team. 
So you can always reach up to your upline or your star diamond, and there's always me. Um, so do that. Be productive, not just busy, but productive. I hope you guys enjoyed the call. I know we went a little long. Um, thank you for showing up. Love you guys. Have an awesome Thursday night. We'll see you next week. Thursday night is the webinar. Be there. Thursday night. See you guys. Thank you. Good night, guys.